Why most wholesalers suffer and quit in this business. What is up guys, Zach Kin here, and in today's video, I wanna share a scary statistic. I have found in most wholesaling guru programs, there is about a 95% failure rate. That is right, for people that spend five, six, seven thousand dollars heck, I know people that spend $20,000 to get into wholesaling real estate. There is a 95% failure rate with those people that spend that 10 grand and within that six months of that mentorship, they fail. And the truth is there are five reasons why when you pay for a guru program, it doesn't work, but I'm not bashing gurus today. Uh, but what I can tell is there's another interesting statistic of why wholesalers, why most of them quit and honestly suffer in this business. Now, I'm not gonna be on my pedestal here and tell you most wholesalers suffer because they don't have the perfect system and for $4,000, you can hop on a webinar and join, uh, come on, that, that is stupid. That is not here to help you. When you're broke, you have no other option. Most wholesaling gurus try to put you in a corner here and tell you are not gonna become successful unless you pay me money. This is not that video and I'm not that guy. I'm already making millions of dollars wholesaling. I don't have to go in here and sell you on a course. Let me give you five reasons why most wholesalers suffer and quit in this business and just struggle to become successful. If you change this, your life will change here. Your wholesaling guru doesn't want to tell you this because honestly, if you knew this information, they wouldn't be able to sell you a $6,000 wholesaling real estate course because this is the information that they all sell in $12,000 program. Number one here is going to be a lack of discipline. Now, excuse my bad handwriting, but this is something we need to talk about. Now, I'm not going to be a guy, you know, who makes millions of dollars wholesaling. And because I make millions, I think everyone's weak and lazy and bad because they don't work 40 hours a day, right? Like, I, I get it. We got a lot of single moms, a lot of working people. Like, it's, it's hard working a nine-to-five job and getting into wholesaling real estate. But what I cannot excuse is a lack of discipline. I can excuse somebody working two jobs and two shifts. Like, I get it. But you can always find time. And more specifically it is having that lack of discipline. And so what discipline, you know, in my definition of it in wholesaling is doing what you need to do even though you don't want to do it. And so one example I always use is, hey, when I go to the gym, I go because I tell myself I have to do an hour a day at the gym every single day. Do you know how many times a week I want to go to the gym? About one or two. That is it. The rest of the five, I do not want to go to the gym. I want to sit on my bed, relax, watch some football or something, and just don't do anything. I think that's mostly everyone, right? Like, we just want to relax, right? Why do I want to go and sweat and be in pain? The truth is, most people don't want to go to the gym. But it's discipline. It's doing something you don't want to do because you already made a commitment. You are disciplined to go do it. This translates into cold calling, talking to sellers when you have a fear of talking to them, going out here and trying for dollars. And more specifically, it's not discipline to a point. It is also a lack of schedules. Most wholesalers cannot create schedules. It drives me crazy. If you can go out here and create a schedule, say, hey, for this week, I'm going to spend five hours trying for dollars. That means on Sunday, I'm going to spend two hours. Saturday, I'm going to spend two hours. And then an hour on Wednesday at three o'clock, right? If you create that schedule and say, this is my schedule and I will not bend on it, you will do it. This is what discipline is. Doing something you don't want to do, even if you don't want to do it, but you're going to do it anyway because you made that commitment to yourself. So that is a lack of discipline I see a lot of people do. You will be amazed once you create a schedule and you stick to it, how fast your results change because of the overused word, in my opinion, wholesaling, which is consistency. Number two here is what we call a lack of knowledge. I see a lot of wholesalers have this issue where, yeah, you know, they have the discipline, they're willing to work hard, but they're doing the wrong thing. And what I mean knowledge is, it's not like you have to be this crazy expert. You gotta know what to do in the right way. Like an easy example is, I see a lot of wholesalers going out here and offering MLS properties, right? Like they'll go and just offer on-market deals with real estate agents and that's all they do. Now I'm not bashing everybody. There are people out here that make millions and millions of dollars wholesaling MLS properties. But this, in my opinion, is a very advanced strategy where you have to be in the perfect storm to do this. What I mean by this is if you're a realtor, you have really good phone skills and you're able to make hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of offers a day, you can do it. Most people, it's a lot more painful to do on-market wholesaling than it is to do off-market. This is my sole opinion. 
There are people that I say, don't do all on market wholesaling and they make millions of dollars and they show me, I, Zach, I just closed a million dollars this year. You don't know what you're talking about. I say, hey, good for you, but I made a lot more money than you and I do off market. So that's the, my opinion. I, I like off market more. But what I'll tell you is I see a lot of wholesalers struggle. I see a lot of wholesalers do things that just don't work. Uh, it's a lack of knowledge of the right things to do. Like for example, if you go to my free real estate wholesaling course, realestate.com, I share with you all my scripts. I share with you my favorite drawing for dollars. I share you my favorite marketing channels, my favorite lists, and I share with you exactly my scripts. When I say lack of knowledge, a lot of people get really, really bad scripts. And the worst thing is if you're a beginner and you have never even closed a wholesaling real estate deal, and you try to go out here and create your own script, it's gonna sound terrible. I heard a script the other day that said, my name's Zach and I own 14 properties in the area. It was a 14 year old kid that didn't own any real estate. Like if you lie, you sound terrible on the phones. And so this is a lack of knowledge. Make sure you get your scripts right. Make sure you get the right information. To get all this knowledge, make sure you go to our free real estate wholesaling course, freerealestate.com to get what I believe is the best knowledge possible in wholesaling real estate. That course just shares with you exactly my 2000 wholesaling deals I've experienced in the past seven years in this business of how to wholesale real estate step by step. I'm proud to tell you it is the only free complete wholesaling real estate course on the internet today. So check it out. I should charge five grand for it, but I give it to the people absolutely for free. And the last thing I'll tell you about lack of knowledge is I believe it's a lack of connections too. I see a lot of wholesalers that have deals locked up, but they can't find any buyers. And if you could just find another guy in your market that has a ton of buyers, having that knowledge of that other person that you can work with will help you close these deals and then get deals done. What you have to do is have great networking and just have an access of successful wholesalers in your area to speak to, which most people have to spend a lot of money to go and join a program or be in a networking group. Uh, I have one of the largest wholesaling real estate discord communities in the country where you can go chat, say, hey, I got a deal in Utah, anybody here in Utah, and there'll be someone out here willing to help you out that is verified closing deals. Just go there, it's absolutely for free to zachdiscord.com. Number three here is what I call the guru cycle of pain. And what I mean by the guru cycle of pain is there is a cycle that wholesaling real estate coaches, mentors, and gurus do. It's happened for the past seven years, and it just keeps happening every single year of cycling wholesaling real estate newbies into either buying the course or not becoming successful. They make it seem like there is this split decision, right? It's either this way or this way. Either you pay me 10 grand or you fail and you're a loser. That is how it works. And Usually wholesaling gurus have this cycle where a lot of newbies get stuck in it and I see a lot of pain and, a lot of, and I see a lot of struggle. This cycle usually starts with a wholesaling guru coming up with a new method. They usually attach an animal to the name, something for example, like the llama method. They call it the llama method. It's new, it's never heard, it's never seen before, but really it's a regurgitated thing. So like it's like, it's like wholesaling lease options, but they call it the llama method to make it sexy and new. Obviously they give you little hints of what it is, but honestly you don't get any of the information unless you pay them $4,000. And they tell you, hey, you're missing out, you're missing out, you're missing out. They funnel all those people in and the people that do it, they give the information out, doesn't work. And the people that don't feel like they're big losers. And then the wholesaling guru will release videos, but they won't give too much good information. They'll only give a little bit of information out and they all say, oh, you wanna do that information? That's in the llama method course. And they make you feel like you're stuck. And then after a year, all those people that spent four grand, guess what? They don't have any reoccurring revenue. So what they do is they get rid of that method, then they make it a new one. They might call this the iguana method. Yeah. They might call this the squirrel method. And maybe it's, how to wholesale vacant land. And now they call it the squirrel method. Now they can sell to all those hundred people that paid them four grand on the new squirrel method. And, it, and it's just a regurgitated cycle. Buy my new method, buy my new method, buy my new method. That's just regurgitated information. And you put it in the cycle of pain. The reason I'm making this, I'm not here to make fun of wholesaling real estate gurus, but I see people who legitimately get hurt from these promises that you gotta spend four grand every year to go learn wholesaling real estate information. And a lot of this information is absolutely trash. And I hate to see wholesalers get hurt. I also see wholesaling real estate gurus scam people. I saw one person who sold a $2,000 course, got the information, promised Zooms every week, and then they flew and ran to another country. And now there's a class action lawsuit with this person. There's a lot of people like that. So be very, very careful. I see a lot of wholesaling real estate gurus scamming people and then the person loses all this money and they just quit this business. Uh, a lot of this happened with the NFT situation. A lot of wholesaling gurus sold $4,000 NFTs, which is basically everyone's money, 
promising free events in all community, and then they just then they just ended it, and they took your four grand and ran away. Uh, just make sure you don't get in the guru cycle of pain. I say this a lot, but a lot of people think I joke about this, but like legit wholesaling real estate gurus were selling four thousand dollar NFTs. The NFT went to zero dollars, and then they ended all the promises they had, like lifetime value. Like you said, you can go to my NFT event every single year for the rest of your life if you just pay me right now. And they ended it. And multiple people did this. And so I make fun of gurus, but the truth is like, it's not a joke. Like people did sell $4,000 NFTs and they, everyone lost their money on it and all the promises went to zero. Number four here, this is gonna be overthinking and honestly overcomplicating wholesaling real estate. Too many wholesalers just complicate the process, right? They buy all these CRMs, they buy all these softwares, they try to buy all these systems, when really at the end of the day in wholesaling real estate is just going out here and finding ugly houses. Try for dollars, cold call the government list, post some digital bandit signs. There's not some secret information out here or a crazy system you have to have. I saw one person who tried to spend $200 for this perfect automated Zapier CRM system with the dialer and say, like you're overdoing this. Have a simple podio and just get your leads. At the end of the day, it's all about making offers. This is one thing I think a lot of newbie wholesalers don't understand, but this business is about offers. Stop trying to do your perfect KPI contact rate situations. It's important to track some of your numbers, but like at the end of the day, Focus on making offers and focus on being disciplined and you will get leads, get deals, and just follow up. A lot of wholesalers overthink, what should I tell the seller? Lack of knowledge, go to fearlessly.com, learn what to say, and just do it, do the action. And I get a lot of wholesalers on my live streams that ask for permission to go out here and cold call or work hard. Go out here and make the most out of your life. Last but not least here, number five, the fear of uncomfort. I'm telling you right now, this is your biggest thing stopping most wholesalers the fear of being uncomfortable. And what I mean by this is, if I'm talking to you right now and I say, hey, go out here and call 100 Zillow for sale by owner leads in the next 24 hours. If I said that word and it made you sweat, it made you cringe, you felt, oh, I, oh I, I, uh, and, then, and then you start creating excuses, you start telling yourself why you can't do it. Oh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's raining outside. I don't want to hear any of those excuses. You have a fear of becoming uncomfortable, having an uncomfortable conversation, having a little bit of anxiety talking to these sellers. I get a lot of people have anxiety, a lot of people have issues. But at the end of the day here, your fear of becoming uncomfortable is going to kill your success in this business. You have to make a conscious decision that yes, I'm gonna get uncomfortable drawing for dollars. I'm gonna get uncomfortable going out here and putting sticky notes on houses. I'm gonna get super uncomfortable cold calling cash buyers. Even though I know I'm probably gonna mess up, I'm gonna do it anyway. Wholesaling real estate and really doing anything that's uncomfortable is a muscle. Your muscles get bigger when you work them and they atrophy and get smaller when you don't work them. And so if I stopped working out for three months straight, my bench press and all my muscles are gonna get smaller. And if I keep working out and I eat right, my muscles are gonna get bigger. Now, I'm not a guru who takes steroids, and that's for a different day. A lot of wholesaling gurus actually do admit to taking steroids. By me just becoming uncomfortable and going through a process of sweating and pain, because I've done it for so long now, I don't have any fear of doing it. But when you're starting out, you have a little bit of nerves, right? Same thing in wholesaling. Your first cold call, you're super nervous. By your thousandth cold call, you're way less nervous. And so what I tell everyone who's nervous cold calling, I say, just get to 100. I promise you, you'll get less uncomfortable and you'll be way less nervous on your 100th cold call than your first one. But the people that stay uncomfortable and nervous talking to sellers have never made a cold call and they've never made more than 10. So get uncomfortable and get in and become and get in pain. One thing I'll tell you is a lot of wholesalers that are scared to talk to sellers they have heroes or they love superheroes or video games or anything like that. I remember one guy, his favorite superhero was Iron Man. And I said, has Iron Man ever did something that he was uncomfortable with? And he said, yeah, of course. He fought Thanos. He went against Ultron. He went against Whiplash. And I said, well, when Iron Man went against any of these guys, let's, let's use Thanos, for example, I'm not gonna spoil it. Was he probably a little nervous that something bad could happen? Yeah, well, he was a hero and he decided to overcome his fear 
or a little uncomfortability because the humanity and the world was at stake. Now, I'm not telling you it's that drastic for your cold calling, but your fear of cold calling has to be smaller than your fear of being broke and your fear of never become and never becoming successful. You have to make a conscious decision that I want to change my life and I don't care how scared I am cold calling sellers or talking to sellers, I'm going to overcome that fear because me being rich is more important than me being scared talking to sellers. You have to make that conscious decision. But really guys, at the end of the day, that lack of discipline is hurting you. That lack of knowledge of knowing what to do is hurting you. Getting the guru cycle of pain is going to hurt you. Overthinking this business and just trying to make everything super complicated. And that fear of being uncomfortable is the reason why most wholesalers suffer and quit. If you can overcome this and know exactly what to do to become successful and just become uncomfortable, you grow when you're uncomfortable. There's a thing called growing pains. It's true when you're growing, it's uncomfortable, but you're growing. If you want to go out here and make a change in your life, I promise you, you are the only person who can do it. And if you want to end the cycle of suffering and quitting and wholesaling real estate, go out here and make a schedule, stay disciplined, go to freewholesaling.com, subscribe to this channel so you get the right knowledge and go out here and make the most of your life. I believe in you. You must believe in yourself and have that confidence in yourself that if you work hard and put your all in this business, you can get rich and successful and become a millionaire through the power of wholesaling real estate. Guys, if you got any value from this video, do me a favor. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you soon. This is Zach Kinn signing out. Have a blessed one.